What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla from All Day ABA and my mission is to make behavior analysis fun and accessible to clients, therapists, and even supervisors. Today we're going to talk about A5 in the 5th edition task list which covers the 7 dimensions of ABA. Click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to help grow this channel and to stay up to date on the latest videos. If you haven't watched the other videos for section A yet, feel free to do so after this. In this video, I'm going to teach you about the seven dimensions of ABA laid out by Bear, Wolf, and Risley. The first three are application, behavior, and analysis. The remaining dimensions are technology, conceptually systematic, effective, and generality. Let's get started. So what are the seven dimensions of ABA? The seven dimensions of ABA serve as a set of guidelines for how to evaluate the quality of applied behavior analysis studies. Bayer, Wolf, and Risley published these guidelines in their paper in 1968. I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description box so that you can go read it if you'd like. The first dimension of ABA is that it is applied. So the term applied indicates that a variable of interest is important to an individual or their society and not just important to a theory or a set of theories. As a very quick side note, I just want to point out that I personally believe that we need to place the highest importance on the individual's preferences and not societies. The second dimension of ABA is the behavioral dimension. The term behavioral indicates that a study is analyzing physical events that can be precisely measured and that the individual whose actions changed is identified. The third dimension of ABA is the analytic dimension. The term analytic means that a study has demonstrated control over the target behavior. In essence, a functional relationship exists, and the independent variable reliably affects the dependent variable, or variables. The fourth dimension of ABA is the technological dimension, and no, this dimension is not talking about smartphones or artificial intelligence. The term technological means that a study has listed all the components of an intervention and has fully described all of those components. The fifth dimension of ABA is the conceptually systematic dimension. The phrase conceptually systematic means that a study has related all of the interventions or procedures back to the principles from which they were derived. The sixth dimension of ABA is effectiveness. This dimension asks the question, has the study altered the target behavior to a degree so that the change is socially important? Let's pretend that I want to decrease the number of times my daughter wakes me up in the middle of the night to play. If she is waking me up 10 or more times per night and I go ahead and put an intervention in place, but then she's still waking me up, nine times a night, the behavior decreased, but the decrease wasn't really beneficial. The seventh and final dimension of ABA is generality. Generality means that a behavior change in a study lasts over time or extends into different settings or extends into related behaviors. You can think of generality as the extent to which the behavior change in a study generalizes for those participants. So just a quick recap, the seven dimensions of ABA are applied, behavioral, analytic, technological, conceptually systematic, effective, and generality. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with others so that they can learn more about the field of applied behavior analysis. Check out the All Day ABA Study Materials Facebook group if you would like to see more of me during your time online. If you are looking for flashcards to study these terms, I have linked my flashcards bundle in the description box below. Visit the All Day ABA blog if you would like to read behavior analytic content after watching these videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!